Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today I'm going to play the Jesse Polka, also known as Hesosita in Chihuahua. This is a great, exciting, rollicking tune uh, written as a Mexican polka by Quirino Mendova y Cortez. <laughs> and um, I'm sure you can have a lot of fun complaining about my pronunciation of Mexican words. Uh, he wrote this whilst uh, serving in a military band during the Mexican Revolution. And it was premiered on Christmas Day in 1916. Uh, in Mexico it's known as the Jesucita en Chihuahua. Uh, it gradually became shortened over the years to the J.C. Polka and in Texas be became known as the Jesse Polka. Um, kind of a, a shortening of the J.C. Polka. Uh, it was recorded by, uh, under that name by Cliff Bruner and his Texas Wanderers in 1938. And it, this tune kind of has two different identities because it's very much played as a mariachi tune by Mexican bands and it's also played in Texas, often as a contest tune, uh, in which case the arrangement is probably going to be different and it's going to have more fancy fingering. Um, the arrangement itself, it has uh, at least five different uh, sections. In fact, I've got six different sections and uh, every version I've looked at has a slightly different arrangement. So if you try to answer the question what is exactly the right arrangement then just picture a, a, a B movie a Mexican uh, bandit film and uh, there's explosions, there's guns being fired in the air there's drunks falling over everywhere, uh, bottles are flying <laughs> that is the answer to the question what is the correct arrangement so I'm going to give you six different sections and it's more or less up to you how you arrange them but the, the first section always ha comes first and it usually comes last as well. So it's this. One, two, three, four. details of this can change uh, but that's the basic melody. It can be played pizzicato particularly if it's in a mariachi setting so it'll be something like this and you can if you want switch as I did there to arco uh, two-thirds of the way through that. Let's just hear that section with the backing. versions it usually goes to this section in the key of D. And then it can go back to the A section. So let's just hear that with the backing. Beginning. 
change the key again to C and we've got one, two, three, four. <laughs> Repeat up an octave. And uh, the up, up an octave is optional, of course, uh, but it, it is a nice arrangement. Um, the Texas versions often go up uh, for the next key change um, but I think the Mexican ones don't usually do that uh, so that's quite an easy section uh, you can if you want play it i.e. put a lot of harmonies in using the scale of sixths um, which is a sixth below and I do have a video all about scale of sixths and there's quite a few parts of this tune where that will be appropriate and it gives you that either twin fiddle or twin trumpet um, kind of effect. We then move on to a, a very fast section which makes you realise that if uh, you've got to start this at a reasonable pace. What sounds easy playing becomes next to impossible when you go to <laughs> which is what we got next. So at a nice easy pace I like to play this down at the heel and all separate uh, slightly detaché bows but if you're struggling with the speed doing slurs I don't think it's anywhere near as good sound, sounding like that but it will help you to play it up to speed let's just play the previous section and the D section which goes like this and I'll slow it down again so the key to this is keeping a lot of fingers on so the third finger is on there and it stays on all the way up to that C sharp and it's on again now the C is staying on same again back to the beginning. Let's just hear that with the backing. Here we go. And finally 
finally we've got um, a section which uh, I'm only aware of uh, happening in the Bob Wills version and he uses this as his B section. Um, it's quite an easy section. One, two, three, four. <coughs> So, uh, as I say, this is a rip-roaring tune uh, with plenty of confusion involved. Um, I suggest that you find a recorded version that you like and you use that arrangement, whatever it is. Or if you want, you can sit around with your band uh, as a committee and uh, decide <laughs> how you're going to arrange it. And uh, just make sure you've got all your pistols and your explosives ready and your whiskey. So, hope you enjoyed this. I will send you a copy if you subscribe and send me an email of all six parts and you can fight over them to your heart's content. See you again soon.